Hello and welcome to Acton TV sports coverage of Colonial Football. Boy, Mark, it's cold tonight. It's getting cold. I tell you, it's lovely here in downtown Dracut, right on Lakeview Avenue. It is. It's a beautiful night. It's definitely football weather here. Tim Little and Mark Shire at Dracut High School as the Colonials get set to take on the Dracut Middies. And boy, Mark, we have, you know, we have two undefeated teams going at it Amazing. again. Amazing. Again, for a second <laughs> week in a row. And you know, you, you look at it, AB 4-0 and needs to stay on track after a huge emotional win. We'll talk about that. And But the Dracut Middies are 3-0, and and they've really dominated every game that they played this year, too. And they don't care about AB's 4-0 and record. They don't care about AB's top 10. All they care about is they're here tonight and they want a big upset. So this is going to be a lot to talk about tonight. And we'll be right back after this message with pregame announcements. Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. Tim Little and Mark Shire at Drinking High School. We got, I think, Channel 25's here tonight for the Game of the Week uh, broadcast. They're sitting in, uh, I'm sure, the heated uh, combinations across the field. But tonight, instead of you know broadcasting with the LS fans like we did last week, that was kind of tight, you know, covered. <laughs> We're with our, you know, AB yeah, we're, fans we're, here. we're with our people. We're with our people. We're hoping Thank they, 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 yeah, they show better up. show up. They're yeah. in traffic here, but you know, as I said before, AB needs to stay on track. That they're a big emotional win. That, you know, the Drake is a three and zero. They don't care. And uh, you know, I know you've done a lot of work. You covered all that. They got a quarterback. They got a receiver. And this is a big game after a big emotional week. This is really crazy. You know, we talk about the difference between a letdown game and a trap game. A uh, trap game is when you're looking forward to another team and maybe you're playing a mediocre team and you got to watch yourself. A letdown game is after you've had an incredible win like A.B. had against Lincoln Sudbury and then you're playing a very good team. And I want to tell you, I think that Coach Bassett all week long has been telling his team, hey guys, don't fall asleep on Draken. This is a very good Draken team. They're a Division IV team. But they're 3-0. and oh, They would have been 4-0, oh, but their game against Lawrence was canceled because of the, the gas explosion. And, uh, you know, last, last week was one of the most incredible football games I've ever seen. I don't know, and, I, and I've studied a lot of football. I've seen a lot of football games, pro, high school, college, whatever. I have never seen a game where a team was outscored 35-3 to in the second half and actually won the game. 
it was just incredible. It really was, and you know, I think even though you had that second half comeback by LS, it wasn't because we were playing not to lose. That was one of the best coached games by either, you know, by both teams uh, throughout the game. Wait a minute, that's it. our segue. Oh. Coach Bassett <laughs> was announced to be the Patriots Massachusetts High School Coach of the Week last week. And you know what that means? You get to shake Andre Pippett's hand. <laughs> that's right. And that I'm sure that hurts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Andre's a yeah, big well, dude. He, you know. he you know, does the martial arts <laughs> and everything. And also, uh, Vic Otero was named the Division I Player of the Week. And he had 12 catches for 154 yards. Finn Murray did it all. He did it with his hands. He did it uh, with his uh, with his legs. But uh, his field goal was really the margin of victory. And uh, I want to tell you, I don't know what that is here. I think it's game time and drink it. That's oh what my I goodness! Is. I think it's well, game I'll tell you, time. <laughs> drink it. Drink it has a terrific quarterback. La last week it was 14 of 18, 267 yards, three touchdowns. Drink it. Beat Chumps for 37 to nothing. They beat West for 34 to seven. Then they played Billerica, a very good undefeated Billerica team. They beat Billerica 32 to 14. Uh, they've got a really good kick returner, number two, Jacob Rivers. Uh, he's also a wide receiver. And uh, the favorite wide receiver is Cam McCullough. Got five touch, uh, five passes for 118 yards and a great 68 yard touchdown last week. And Alan French is their runner, so they have a diversified attack. And I just don't know how good this Drake team is, but like everything else, you know, we've got to stay awake and we've got to play from the opening tip off. Well, you know, they'll be plenty motivated. So, you know what I think? I think, you know, in Drake, they have sirens. In colonial territory, we got the muskets. So, what do you say, Mark? All right, let's, let's play, play some football. football. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Welcome back to Acton TV Sports presentation of Colonials Football. Today's game has been brought to you by Huntington Learning Center, Gallant Insurance, Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, Medical Aesthetics, TC Lando. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC. Acton Pharmacy. National Aviation Academy. All right, welcome back, everybody. Tim Lou and Mark Shire as AB 
kicks it off, Finn Murray, short kick, and good coverage by oh, AZ as they coverage. take down. Uh, Tim, that, we just got word that number seven, Cameron McCullough, uh, their top receiver, three touchdown receptions, uh, has been suspended for this game and won't be playing, and that is a big weapon that's been taken away from the middies. Yeah, that's their number one wideout uh, per year, you know, mega game analysis, so uh, see if the middies can cover. That's like losing uh, Randy Moss, I yeah, guess, for this exactly, team. Exactly, exactly. All right, they've got a they've got a pass first, run second quarterback in Devin Lambert. He's a good one. Not a big kid, but very, very accurate. All right, this time they run it up the middle for a no gain. All right, that's a message right there. That's a message. And Hollis Durstein, aided by three other defenders. And you, you know. AB's uh, middle run defense has been just phenomenal all, all season. All right, second and ten, maybe second and nine. Better spot than I thought there. Single eye back. And passes intended for number 44. Yeah, we don't even we don't we don't have them on the roster actually. <laughs> I don't see uh, you know, Drake, Drake it's like Acton Boxborough. They only have 38 kids on their whole roster. They've got some good skill players and and a, three or four good linemen, but uh, they're not a deep team. And it's third and long here. by Vic O'Tail as he takes it. It's like two to house, no flags on the field. Vic O'Tail going the other way. He caught 12 passes last week and he just caught one this week. And you take a look at that. That was just, that was just a poor pass. There it is, yeah. Nobody around Vic. It was almost like he was a receiver. And he just goes in untouched. And A.B. strikes with 10.07 to go, striking in the first minute. And the kick is up, and it is good. And it's 7 up. A.B., and that was a quick strike. Vic Otero is picked up where he left off last week. He went, look at this. He just, he just jumps the road a little bit. Great position, and just basically walks into the end zone. And there's the replay again, and wow, you just see that. You know, Drake, Drake it has not has not been a strong team over the last four years. Their record is 12 and 30. Last year they were they were four and six, Division 14 that really hasn't made any noise, and uh, this is heady territory for them right now. Uh, being 3-0 and oh and, uh, and beating up on uh, Billerica last week, which was a shock to a lot of people. Yeah, Billerica is always feels a good team. All right, Finn Murray, Mr. Everything. Good number 17, Juan Kicks Carlos up. Santiago Oop, out there. And it's caught on the 30, and it's, it's taken down Mitchell Monette. Yeah, he caught, he, he caught the first uh, kickoff, too. So that's a strategy, is to, to just kind of pooch it to the 30-yard line and cover the kick and take a look at this. Look at this kick coverage. Interesting uh, strategy. Uh... Well, 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 Coach Maver did that all the time. A lot of those pooches to the 30-yard line over the years. So I saw, uh, I saw uh, Lou Abear. Did you? Lou Abear's here. That's great. Well, that's an easy drive for Lou. For his, uh, yeah, he lives, in, lives in Methuen, right. All right, little arch formation, and this time they look like oh, they're an option, and it's yeah. an option throw. And tackled uh, goes number 17, Jean Carter.
Carlos Santiago. I'll tell you, take a, a look, take a look at this replay. Hollis Durstein thought he had to tackle on this. If we take a look at it, look at big number 72. He's got, he's got that guy. He's got him stacked up, but the pitch goes to Santiago. Good responsibility football. AB in a completely different defense. Now, cover three, two middle linebackers. You got the uh, stacked here. Read option up the middle, and this time, good oh, yard yeah. gains for a first down run you know, goes. goes that is French, Berlin and French. He, yeah, he's a bowling ball. He's gone over 100 yards a couple of times, and he is just a punishing runner, number 45 French. And that's the first first down for the middies, almost to midfield. That looks like a keeper, and they've got about four or five yards goes Devin Lambert. Yeah, that, that was not a design keeper. He doesn't run a lot. Just good coverage. Take a look at that. He's looking, he's looking, he's looking. Doesn't see anyone, makes the best out of it, picks up five yards. Back to Foxborough's 48. Are we in your way? Thank you. Pistol formation and there it is. Oh! Noah Sweeney. <laughs> with a nice reaction to the ball, had the ball in his hand, knocked it down, almost had it. That would have been probably another six. Uh, yeah, and speed. once again, with his speed, yeah. If he if he just kind of turned the corner, uh, and once again, uh, after going 14 for 18 last week, Lambert is not hitting his targets. That's, there's a rush from the end here. There it is, another interception. All wow, right. big time. That is Nick, Nick Basillo. Nick Basillo, and, he, and he's feeling it right now. He is feeling The whole AB team is feeling it. And take a look at this. Once again, another pass right into coverage. These are easy interceptions. Really, a lazy pass on the part of Lambert. Well, this is probably one of the very, very few times I've ever seen an AB team line up where they're bigger and quicker than the opponent. <laughs> bigger, certainly. That's a, that's a rare. Take a look at Trips left here. All right, we got a timeout. Time out. And it's AB. A little confusion there on the play, Conan. We must All have, right, uh, I think we the, get a man short. All right, I think just the 30-second timeout here as we've got Darren Stanton coming in. Well, I'm going to go. I'm gonna be looking for a play call to the left here to, to start the game. <laughs> Line here, and he had a step, and the ball is just overthrown. You know, that, that was really interesting because you had trips left, you had all the action going left, and then they had Bernard just one on one with the cornerback and just went on a fly pattern there and just barely overthrew him. Okay, we're back live now. Good pursuit there by the middies, and that's going to bring up about a third and eight. Run up the middle and 
picked off by number 54, Will Peters. In a one on the play, it'll be up third down and nine. All right, third and nine. Ulrika changes up the defense. Cover two now. Jonas Wickman over the middle. Might be a nice play. Let's see what happens here. You got it. That was Vic Otero. That was Vic Otero, and he held on to the ball, and that's a first, first down. down. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this dart to Vic Otero. And he's in between, he gets nailed by a defender and hangs on to the ball. See uh, Drake headhunt in their hits. It's very high, uh, you know, tackling. We're in a divide. Drake it goes into a three-line backer set. Really, I love the... Uh, Gamesmanship. Yeah, I know. Every, everyone, you, er, see, you see the mirroring. Everybody's the in the box. I mean, they're, they're all within four yards of the line of scrimmage right now. Is that a timeout AB again? I like this. I, I like what Coach Bass is doing here. Early in the game, Matt Cox checks in, Ethan Logan checks in. But, you know, you're trying to calibrate. You got, you got a, a, I'm sure, a very inspired uh, team in uh, the middies here. In a very successful season. You can see we're, we're dominant size and speed wise. That's clear, but you can still, it doesn't mean you win the football game. So you want to get your team in the right place. We have a defensive touchdown. Let's make sure we're actually moving the ball. This is good coaching, my fast. Yeah, and once again, good aggressive coaching. We got Stan Bernard. He's one, one on one, no safety help. to Barat as he pounds his way for another money run for about six to seven yards. This kid, one foot in front of the other, no shimmy, straight ahead. Here's the play, love the way that runs. Yeah, he just, take a look at that. Just a straight, a straight line. He, know, he sees his opening, and it's second and short right now. A lot of options now for Finn Murray. As Coach Belichick would say, you know, the yards after first hit. Look at that, another two yards every time. Kid runs. Wow. Oh, that was good close defensive to being play. picked off. Oh, look at the intimidate. Look at the little taunting there by uh, let's, uh, number 24, Lucas. Okay, Lucas the Bergen. Take a look at this. Watch out. If you see him, he'll turn around and he'll get his face in there. Stand over. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this is uh, All right, third, not the way you want to play college uh, short. high school football there, but four down territory here. Well, this Drake, this Drake team has got to have some attitude to come out three and zero like this this season. And oh, Finn Murray, them. well covered, and I bring up fourth down. And he actually lost yardage on that, so it's going to be about fourth and fourth and almost four yards here. You see the entire Drake team king on Finn. All right, now once again, look for 87. One of those nice little slot passes here. Just get the first down. There we go. Oh, and a late hit there. That was a very late hit. And Mr. C is out of his mind and saying, that was, yo. And that, that was a late hit to the head, too. Vic Otero, I, I think he's shaking up on this. Let's take a look at this play again. Uh, they're, they're going live right now. But that was a very late hit. And Tim Bassett, Coach Bassett, is making his feelings known right now. And the, uh, the ref came in from the, the end zone and I think gave number eight a warning, uh, Kyle Silva. Well, you know, if you're going to give him a warning, you give him a flag. I mean, it's either a penalty or it isn't a penalty. 
Oh, good play, good play by Draken. That's number 51. He's one of their top defenders. That's Ian Godbot. He and we're gonna, William We're going to take a look at the William last Peters. play first here. All right, look at this. See this okay, late he hit. Has a, and clearly, uh, I mean, by, yes, a, by about three no seconds. Quite, not even a close call there. And that was and that was to the head too. Second and eleven. Oh, I was gonna flag. flag. Let's see what the call is. The pass was complete to Jonas. Is that a chop block or? Looks like a, that could be a, they're gonna mark off 15 yards here. And referee, he's uh, explaining it to Coach Bassett. Coach Bassett is just not happy right now. He feels that his team is, uh, they're trying to intimidate his team. And now we've got second and very long here, all the way back to the 43-yard line. We gotta see, there's, there's a lot developing here, Tim, in the first quarter. It really is. I kind of like the, uh, you know, in terms of really getting, making sure that you're motivated at the last week's game, I think uh, yeah, well, this the Middies just yeah, did us a favor. Right. Yeah, yeah. If you were asleep, you're, you're awake now. <laughs> little screen pass to Perrot. He gets free. He's got a little room on the outside. Right up and field block by Bernard as he gets more than the first down all the way down. Uh, once what again, once again, number eight. Number eight, Kyle Silver went after, went after Stan Bernard after the play. It's a little chippy. Now watch this. I don't know if you can see that. Barack goes and then right after the play. All right, we're live. Stan Bernard. And Barat just has uh, half of the mini team on him. But that last play, Bernard, it was an unbelievable open field block. And this stalked him, and uh, here's the last play here. Let's see if we can get a good look on that. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can get that play. Let's see what happened right after the play. Bernard was one-on-one -on -one with, with uh, Silva, here's, and there's the run. He, and, pulled, he pulled him down. And look, at that, and look down. at this. Look at this. Right afterwards. Yeah. Just that little... Kyle, so there he goes. Oh, he's in. He's in. There he's in. in. There you go. And that's how you respond to that kind of play. And I just, I, I, I've been just seething with uh, that kind of let's respond the right way and play some football. And thank you, Colonial. You just did it. Okay, take a look at number 15, Lois Rakoka. And he just can't get Sin Murray. And he put up his hands and said, what just happened here? I had him and I lost him. That was 45. That was French. That's a big, strong kid, I believe, that Mark. So the run out of that arm tackle, Sin Murray is one strong kid. All right, 14 to nothing, AB. We've got a timeout here. If we can take a look. There we go, Sin Murray. There he goes. You can't arm tackle him. He's too wow. strong. And let's go. Let's see if we can go to our top 20 if we can. If we can bring up our top 20 because we've got uh, Acton Boxbro. Take a look at that. At number we are number eight. A win tonight could easily bring us within the top five because some of those teams are playing head to head that are in front of us. And uh, uh, Mashby there, by the way. Won by one point, and now they've won 24 games in a row. So, uh, but AB is moving on up. Uh, uh, Drake had actually uh, was uh, named the 20 n number 28 this week, but AB number eight.
and on the move, they made the biggest move of the week last LS week. is number nine. All right, right behind them. All right, this time we kick it away. Take it on a 10. And there's a seam on the middle here, 17. Goes to about the 35 yard line. Yeah, that's Jean Carlos Santiago who's taking over for Cameron McCuller. And uh, Santiago is only a, only a sophomore, and he's going to have to pick up the slack for the middies. Here we are, right next to the band. All right, we got a lot of band music tonight. <laughs> first and ten on. Mitty's have it on their own 35. French behind uh, Lambert. See Matthew Cox with the, with the rush over the edge and uh, they run right for about three. They're taking no prisoners tonight. Everybody in on that. French. Really strong runner, three yards on the play. Okay, you got Matt Cox in there. Brett Pacillo and his mic roll there. Again, the middle run with French. Nothing this happened, well covered. nothing at all. You know, I think, Mark, one of the things we're seeing tonight, too, is that AB really not used to running a cover three. They've been playing such aggressive defense. And against this particular team, they got to change it up and play a little cover and, three. And, and they've and been doing a great job of adjusting. They're doing adjusting. a great job. Yeah. And now, now they're in the cover two with, with third and uh, about six. Looks run, he's under oh, that. trouble and big okay. time. That's a captain, Andrew Fleming, Dog. number 54. Just sealing the deal and chasing Lambert down. He didn't have a chance. <coughs> he could not evade number 54. And fourth down for the middies, and AB is coming out smoking tonight. Uh, I'd love to see that replay again. We'll get this ball away first, I think, given the timing. But Flemdog, you know, just great the way he broke down right in front of the quarterback and took care of business here. All right, little soccer kick, and it is blocked. And kick the Oh, pick. wait a minute. That's a 15 yard penalty. What are we seeing here? You know something, Tim? I, honest to God, I did not expect this. This is like this is like playing a Pop Warner team so far. I didn't know how to call that on the yeah, play by play. I, I mean, the, the frustration. Uh, in the, and you know, usually you see that in the third and fourth quarter, but right from the start. Uh, I mean, just to kick the ball like that, that's going to be 15 yards the other way, and we're going. We should get the ball in the red zone, right around the 19-yard line, I think. I don't know, Kip. Can we get a replay on that? If we can go to the replay booth and just see what happened after that. He just went over and just kicked the ball. We're going to do a replay right after the call. It's going to take a while to mark this up. <laughs> it's going to... Let's go. And the Russians, they had to pull up the rule book for that. What do you do with a soccer kick? There we go. And there he goes. He, oh. just, kicks, he just kicks the ball. All right. All right, Finn. Back to pass. He's got Bernard deep. And touchdown. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I to make sure I saw the ball. Yeah, I know. Oh, it was very dark. I want to make sure that Stan wow. held on to that. And he just ran away from his defender. And, you know, it's just amazing. With uh, the way you leave the middle of the field open, we will want to post on almost anybody in the league. And there you go. But look at that. Finn Murray absolutely led him perfectly into the end zone. 
up and it is good. So with uh, just 16 seconds to go in the first quarter, it's AB 41 and the mini's not good. Well, I'll tell you, Tim, two games last Friday night and tonight, it's like you just can't can't believe what you're seeing in the in the first half. Now look at this play by the Flemdog. Oh, oh my goodness. You see how Flemdog broke down there and made sure he didn't overrun the quarterback. I mean, you know, usually the you know the adrenaline takes you past. No, a great Let's take a look at the there. touchdown if we can get this in before the kickoff here, and here we go. Here's Finn and look looking at left and then looking downfield. It throws a perfect strike right to the fingertips. Oh, yeah. That up. is just beautiful. Here we go. Kicking off for the fourth time in the first quarter. All right, good, good wall blocking at the point of attack, but AB responds, and the middies take over on their own third. That's uh, Giancarlo Santiago with the, with the return. Well, I got to remember to to, uh, to make sure that my phone is off here. Uh, you know, the Red Sox are playing the Yankees tonight. Have recorded? Uh, I'm recording the game, yes. and of course, I'm sure someone's going to tell me just offhandedly as I'm walking out there. Say, hey, Red Sox losing six to two in the fifth inning, and that 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 always happens to me. Yeah. All right, here we go. First and ten. Nine seconds to go in the first quarter. AB in a cover two. Read option, the keeper this time by Lambert. And he just trips uh, and gets about five. He would have had about eight or nine there. All right, that's it for the first quarter. And take a look at this. He is, he is not a running quarterback. And, uh, I mean, his passing stats have been great. He's got eight touchdowns so far this season and a very good passing percentage. But he's just, I don't know what's happening to him tonight. He's, whether he's intimidated or, uh, or what's going on, I, I think losing his top receiver uh, has really done some damage to his, uh, to his psyche tonight. Yeah, I agree. And, uh, you know, they run a read option even though he's not a running quarterback. That that was the right call. You see the, how how aggressively we are going after that that dive. Yeah, but he's, 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 he's not the kind of quarterback no. who's going to be able to break it on the read option <laughs> play. Yeah, he won't make you pay. You know, we can with our speed. All right, here we go. Second down and five yards as we start the second quarter. All right, we've got French in the backfield. Lambert looks over the AB defense. Running a 3-4. Quick out to the outside and dropped, it looks like, or did they catch it? No, yeah, they, they that's caught. a catch. Wow. Yeah. And that's close to a first down. Should be a first down. Let's see. Right on the... Whoa, I tell you, third, I third and a sliver, I think. No, no, they're giving him a first yeah, down. I, okay. The result of the play is a Tariki. First down. All right, Lambert trying to get a little rhythm going here. They, they've taken a punch in the first quarter. Read option, Lambert keeps the ball. He's oh. breaks a good tackle and is brought down by Finn Murray after about a 12 yard game. Well, that was, that was a great game for somebody who's not a good one. That was a, take a look at this little shake and, look at this shake and bake here. Watch this, shake and bake. And there he goes, 12 yards. Finn Murray brings him down, but it's another first down and they're in AB territory. You think about the Given, you know, the, I think the size and speed disadvantage and the way we scouted this team, obviously, I think the uh, middies are going to have to play that way all game. Oh, look at that. And it's a long road Nothing back. up the middle. You've got everybody. Matt Cox, Batillo, 
everybody in there. You know, you see this replay again. We're going to take French out of the ball game. You can see the way we're designed there for Chilo. All right, that was Matt, Matt Cox making first contact there. And Pacillo making the tackle. Yeah, Matt, Matt Cox, formerly 82, now 50. A little quick out and uh, just in and out of the hands of number two, Jacob Rivers, the speedster. Now these these guys these guys just don't look ready to play. I mean they they looked like LS last last week in the first half. But this is not a team that's going to be able to come back and score five touchdowns in the second half. And that's what I was you know saying before their Mark, is that uh, you know the only way to do it they run the read option with the quarterback that doesn't run very well and do it four yards five yards at a time and they're down twenty one nothing already against a very good defense and AB so that's not going to work. Let's see if they're coming. Lambert throws the ball deep over the middle. He's got a little bit of time. And oh, what a play. Noah Sweeney with the whamma jamma stuff a rama Knocked the ball away play there. That is Sweeney Island. Here we go. We're going we're gonna to take a cruise to Sweeney Island. Take a look at this. He's up there. position, And he just says, that, that's that, that's a volleyball spike. That is something. That's a guess. Cool. Yeah, that's that's a spike. Here Usually we go. If you can down. run that fast, you can jump pretty high too. <laughs> All right, Jekyll Terrell back, and they get a good punt away. He's backing up, and he's got the ball, and he's he's loose and gains the toughest three or four uh -huh. yards. And <laughs> okay, we got a flag on the play here. And let's, uh, let's, let's see if that's a personal foul. I think, that, I think they're calling that against A.B. Coach Bassett is asking for the call. The refs aren't even looking at him to let him know what's going on here. What do we got? I think we got a block in the back. Are you good? Are you good? Yeah, with, yeah that with, is. With, uh, the, with everyone here? See the call, but it's a 15 yard penalty. Just their heads, they're really getting their heads. Nothing we can do. Okay. Their quarterback is only one of seven for five yards and two kicks. All right, AB backed up on to their own, uh, looks like. Well, Finn Murray is for us. Nine yard line. Finn looking sideline. It's oh. Jonas Wickman. The low, tough ball to handle on his fingertips. Low, maybe a yeah, it's six kinda, inches off the ground. That big, uh, big frame of Jonas there. A cold night, and Jonas was kind of backing up on it and trying to trying to pick it up. Second and ten here. All right, Finn looking. Right all the way, and it's, oh, oh, lucky that wasn't intercepted there is that uh, the ball was up in the air. Vic Otero had his hands on it, but another high throw. Here's a replay here. And look at this. Look, 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 how, look what he puts on the ball. Yeah, tough, tough ball to catch. Third and ten suddenly here. Deep in their territory. If we can't convert, uh, Drakeen is going to get good field position. All right, just a little run up the middle. Safe. Okay, Play, that's Cronaway. Uh, yeah, and it's fourth down. First punt for AB this evening. Now we've got number ten, Nemus Lopez, and number two, Jacob Rivers. I don't know if Jacob Rivers is the coach's son. Uh, he has an 85-yard touchdown return so far this year. And he calls for a fair catch, catch, yeah. yeah. At the 45 and of AB. He had plenty of room. He had Sweet, Sweeney was closest to him, but I, I think he had room to move. Back to Foxborough's 45. I'd like to remind everybody of 
All right, let's take a look at the top 20 if we can. If we can, oh, we, we already did that. Yeah, let's look at the touchdown leaders here. And we'll take a look. And who we got there? Who's at the top? We got Finn Murray. Nine touchdowns so far. And give him a couple more. Give him a couple more uh, tonight. He's just getting warmed up. Yeah, you know, yeah. Who? All right, Lambert. Read option to French. He gets a little bit of room on the oh, side. Oh, we got a flag. flag. Okay, it's about time we even it up here. Get a hold on the middies and take him back ten yards. Got the student AP traveling student section. Right, yeah, that's okay. They're, I think we got their heads in our camera, but that's all right. They're, they've, they've made the long jaunt from AB to drink it, going over the river and through the woods. <laughs> all right, let's bring up first down and 20 for the middies. Here's a hold. There's a hold. He's holding. Another hold as Flendaw got held, and he scrambles on the outside and gets back to the original line of scrimmage. No flags in the play to bring up second and ten. All right, ten-yard pickup. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I mean, he's he's looking around, and he you know he make, he makes good yardage out of this. And we're back live now here. Oh, we got a flag got a here. Flag. We got some wrestling around yeah. there. Pat Cronowit. Make it sure. Hey guys, let's see what that flag is. They held him for a long time. Another hold, I think. And that play's going to come back. Yeah, that play took a long time to develop. All right. All right, back got, to second and 20. Yeah, yeah, we're right back to where we started again. All right, Lambert's already thrown two interceptions this game. And they may be coming here. They're coming. And French kicks out the outside. It's the right play against that. Oh, uh, yeah. And he gets about eight back. And up goes to number 45, Alan French. Now, you can see, you can see uh, on the replay that that play went just exactly opposite to where the, all the pressure was coming. And... We were, we were lucky that French just got about a seven yard gain. That could have gone for a lot more. Third down and about 13. AB fans making a lot of noise here. And there, and there it comes. Cox is coming again. A little scramble play, and it's complete. That's Santiago. The, the Santiago gets down to the sideline for inside the 20 for a big first down for Drake. Santiago, that's a sophomore. The sideline, result of the play is a Drake first down. Take a look at the replay here. You'll see these kind of scramble broken plays are really going to be the best. Drake it can offer tonight. And they're dangerous place. Nice catch. Okay, here we go live again. Good fake on the ball as Lambert gets outside for about three or four. Lambert keeps it inside the 10. Make that five. They get inside the 10, second and about 
Uh, they have it Four. second, second and three on the board. I think they've been a little bit long to go. Second and three. It's a very fast-moving second quarter. We're coming in with under five minutes to go now in the second quarter. And we're looking to the corner. Look, oh, about. easy. And it's touchdown, easy Back touchdown. Okay, that is Joey, Joey Petka. Petka. He's, yeah. a, he's a senior. Got separation from Vic Otero. And let's see what happened there. And uh, that's a coverage breakdown by A.B. because he was wide open in yeah, the corner. Yeah, yeah, something, yeah. Something broke down there. And Drake is on the board now. I'll have to see that replay again. Kick is up and it is good. So the middies are on the board with 4.47 to go in the first half. See if we can see that replay one more time. And uh, I'm going to guess that's a, uh, he might be either, that's a wheel route. Or, nope, he's coming. Yeah, must, wow. Yeah, he got out, he got out there really quickly. You really don't have the camera angle. No, you have it's, to go it's past hard, the hard to get the, and the uh, yeah, we got the whole <laughs> marching band. They are leaving the stands right now to get ready for their halftime uh, performance. Uh, we're down to 4.47 to go in the second quarter, 21 to seven. Uh, time to uh, respond here. Well, Drake is showing that they're not, they're not lying down here. They're kind of coming back with a score. Undermanned. AB with a huge turnout. The yeah, this is great. This is really fans. great. AB with three back to cover, and Noah Sweeney gets set. Gets the ball in his own eight yard line, and it's a middle return. He's on the edge now. He's got one man to beat. He's on the edge, and he goes second, third, third all the way to the 40 of the middies. I, no one. I, saw, I saw that return right from the beginning. I was just watching him just start speeding up and just accelerating and just picking his spots, and it was just a matter of whether anybody could get an angle on him. And take a look at this, just watch. Here he goes, he's going, he's looking. Now he's moving. Now he picks his spot. He does a little stutter step, goes down the sideline, and just runs out of territory. How many middies did Noah Sweeney pass? <laughs> like they were standing <laughs> how many, still. How many you know? middies does it take to change a light bulb? That's what I want to know. All right. 4.35 to go in the first half. A.B. with great field position. Here's the Finn Murray. Oh, well, well defended. They just are. It, it, you know, they really have a come mindset to make sure you stop every Finn Murray run. Well, that, I mean, that's what that's what LS did. After a few plays last week, and uh, and Drake, and I'm sure was was scouting it. Yeah, it's just a, it's Will as uh, Statman Will Henry said, uh, Finn's only averaging two yards a carry here. All right, trips left. Finn looking to the trip side. Little pass to Jonas Wickman for about four or five. Yeah, Wickman really, he got, he got abused after he caught the ball, but he held on to it, and it's third and about four. Look at that, Reed. They, they're really after him. Very physical team. Committee's there. I'd actually like to see a Finn Murray keeper right up the middle right now. 
All right, Sin looking right this time. Same play with Ethan Lowe. Got him. Yeah. Great pass, and that is just absolute perfect precision, perfect timing. And these are, these are guys who really work together seven, in a seven on seven competition this summer. Got a lot of their timing down. All right, look at the uh, look at the center of the field opening for Jonas. Boy, look at that defensive formation. It's just a lot of wide open territory there. And this time it, they cover the run again with uh, one of the. Very few stops I've seen all year with the Rock. Yeah, they, they ran right into the strength of that defense. The Rock trying to break it outside, but just couldn't do it. And, and he's only averaging two yards a carry. Yeah, I mean. Look at Coach, Coach Bassett waiting until that defense sets and calling this play at the last minute. I love this. All right, Finn, looking over to the middle of the field, and what a oh. perfect pass! It's short Jackson yardage, Carroll. short yardage, and we got a timeout That's now. Third and nine. We're down to two thirteen to go in the second quarter. Two-minute two warning. Minute warning. What, what two-minute warning? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, so we have 21 to 7. We got about two minutes to go. AB with two down territory. Little quick out pass. Vicko Tail's got some room as he breaks the tackle and gets about oh, four gonna or five. Really, that's going to be close. They're going to be within a yard, I think, of the first down. And here it is, about fourth and two. Here's a replay. Fourth and three. Clock is, uh, that's I, timeout. I had no idea what this yeah, PA announcer was talking about the two minute warning. If it, it was, Still a couple minutes left. Maybe Here's a replay. Doing, Watch doing this the Patriots uh, game. Look how Taro is so elusive. It really is. It's hard to get a glove on that kid. Okay, 100 yards passing so far for Finn Murray in the first half. All right, the way they mark the ball off here, Mark, it looks like fourth down and a long two. Oh, we got some work to do. And now it shows 14 minutes on the board here. Uh, but you know that, that, you know. So uh, I think we'll just estimate around a minute 50 and uh, keep going. Now it's a minute 44, okay. All right, we've got Bernard Nortero, man to man, no safety help for either one of them. It's gonna go to one of them. Corona in the backfield. Oh! oh. And Big Vic hit. Otero got hit hard. And you and, can, uh, and you can, and you can, you can see Bernard's guy. Went, went to Otero, so With there are the two, the ball was bobbled, and down. that's it. And Lucas the middies Sabargan take over. With a big hit there. These guys play, uh, you know, kind of like the Seattle's boom philosophy, the way they run around that and that uh, defensive backfield the middies do. Trigger will start first and 10 from their own 24. All right, Draken looking, looking to make a game out of this now. Down two scores. There's a keeper again, it looks like. With, oh, that's all right, that's what we want. Is that scrambling can work once, twice, three times before okay, time you're out. Okay, all right. Here's the replay. Timeout. Middies. Uh, you look see at him this. escape. Uh, Hollis Durstein. Hollis Durstein and then Fleming right on top of him. And uh, Jake Durkin well, on the tackle. Well, no, no. Jake, no, it's not Jake. Uh, someone's, someone's got Jake's number. We don't know well, who it is. But Jake Durkin is playing tonight. 
Wait, he is. He's playing tonight. He is playing. Oh tonight. my goodness. Okay. He's just limited to defense though, no offense. Oh, what a great catch. Yeah, they gave him the catch. Wow. Number, uh, let's see here, 44. Here's the replay. This is some kind of play. Well, Andrew Chin almost got his mitts on that ball. All right, third down and six. Minute 11 here. You're going to see a double move, I would think, uh, by one of these guys because we got really a single safety here. If, if if we hold him here, we've got we've with timeouts, we've got time to do some damage. Remember, we used two timeouts very early in the game. Uh, just get I think we probably have two two more. Oh, oh there it is. The middle, there's a double move. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Perfect. Perfect. There's a flag. Right. That is offensive interference. Vic Otero is just a consummate. Professional there, walks away, knows he got mauled, and I uh, gotta believe they're gonna call this offensive interference. Wait a minute, did they, did they call offensive yeah, interference they did, they did, or they, they call a personal foul? Personal foul. That's a personal foul, that's a difference because that's gonna be. And I wanted to make sure that our student section, you can't do that. Come on now, let's go. You can't do that. <laughs> all right, well, we take ourselves back to high school. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> They're looking at us like, hey, no timing. Oh, yeah. You don't know what you're doing here. So, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he gave, he gave, gave Vic a little extra, a little extra yeah, curricular activity. All right. Still time, over a minute to go here. Fourth and 15, or maybe 16, 17 yards. So that's a, uh, is that right? Is that a, uh, yeah, they're gonna punt. Yeah, I mean, they didn't look like they were in there punting, what, punting for I, me. I was, I was wondering to... what they were doing there. And now their punter's coming in. We're gonna look at this replay one more time, see if we can see this. I think there's a loss of down. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, there was, yeah. There was certainly a loss of down, down. Yep. yeah. Okay, we're going live now to the punt. Kind of an end over end kick, and Vic Otero with the shake, and he gets his way, cuts his way, makes a couple yards. All right, 39 yard line, 55.6 seconds to go. Let's make it a 28 7 halftime lead. Now, one thing you can predict. I would say is that one of these plays is going to be a shot to Stan Bernard on a post. <laughs> yeah, that's a good call. You know? I'll, I'll go for that. I'll put I'll, I'll put twenty five cents on that one. I'm a, I'm a big spender. All right. And that middle field is open. And they are playing a big, wide, delicious cover two. Uh, not even, really. That that that's up. Big Murray looking for touchdown pass number eleven of the season. Oh no! He's gonna run it. He's gonna run. He's out of bounds here, and uh, that'll be a first down. No, no, where is that? Where did they bring that ball? No, it's about. Yeah, he, only, he, yeah, 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 he didn't get that much. He got about five yards on the play. He was way back. You know, he took a deep but drop in that play. He did stop the clock with 48 seconds to go. Shot to the knee there, it looked like to me. Murray on the keeper. All right. Down. These guys. We've got a third down now. And we got a timeout. Should be Finn timeout AB. Off a little yeah, hand uh, stinger. Third and one. 34 seconds to go. Well, I got to tell you, Tim, I, you know, after the first. An update from Fenway Park. Eight, eight, eight more. I don't want to hear the update from Fenway Park. Oh, dear old guy. 
All right, okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. I, I knew that I would not be able to, <laughs> to tape this game tonight. I, I just knew it. But I'll take a J.D. Martinez three-run homer for sure. Wait, wait, he's the one who, he's the reason they're up? Martinez hit a three-run homer? Nice. All right, third and short here. But what I was going to say is that Drake, had, after looking like a Pup Warner team uh, in the first eight minutes, has, has kind of gotten it together and kind of gotten their footing, and uh, they're playing much, much better in the last uh, last quarter. I could, you can definitely see why Drake is a uh, you know a formidable formidable team in Division Four. Oh know, yeah, they are. They got a swagger to them. They're a very physical football team. And uh, you know we're not seeing them with their best uh, their best player really I, I, I would imagine. Uh, so uh, here we are, third down and one. Cornwood's in the backfield with Finn. Okay, first down. That'll and stop the clock. They do tackle aggressively. And now it's the done. hurry up. Here we go. <laughs> it is the hurry up now. All right, clock starts now. Uh, Wickman, Wickman looking to set himself. There's a shot down the end zone, and uh, there's oh, a flag. Oh, that's, that's flag. That's I believe. That the ref flag. called it from here. <laughs> that flag went 30 feet up in the air. I've never seen a flag go so high. And he's checking to say, you guys okay with that call? I saw the arm, and uh, let's see. Yard and it must be a hold here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I heard the ref say I saw the shots. Okay, with twelve point seven down, down seconds to go. And uh, they're picking up the flag. What are they doing here? Marking it back. We went back five. Yeah, five yards. Five, five yard yards penalty. Okay. So first and 15. 12 seconds to go. Couple of plays. Ineligible man downfield is what I have from the sky box of Acton TV. All right, under pressure. Finn looks deep. He's going to, it's intercepted by the middies. And that's what that should yeah, so pretty much do it for the first is half. Accepted. Here's uh, the replay. 14, Joey Pekka. Yeah, it, it's really kind of a, almost like a Hail Mary kind of situation yeah, here. Finn throwing it up. With about six seconds remaining in the half. Time for one play, a little hook and ladder. I don't think so. I don't like, think so. Division, I wouldn't. If it were yeah. me, though, Division 14, you're going against AB. We're ranked in the top 20. I think you're gonna you're gonna do something here. That's that's what I would do. They're gonna give it to French. Nope. They're gonna run Keep it though. You're, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they weren't going to. Generically, you're right. They, they weren't going to do anything <laughs> fancy. They're going to keep it on the ground, and that's the first half, 21-7. And you know, it started out like it could be 84 to nothing, and now it's you know, they're they're within shouting distance at the end of the first half. That's why you know you got to play the game. This is really. Uh, you're right, though. I think uh, the Mini's got their composure from a competitive point of view. That you know, definitely uh, some. Some, you know, personal foul calls up there, and they kind of. I think uh, my guess is the coach probably talked to him one of those timeouts and said, "You, you guys want to play against this team? You're gonna have to basically play it on the field." And uh, they had a good, they had a good uh, second quarter. So that's gonna do it for first half action. We'll be right back after this message with the Statman player comparison. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com.
All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time for our Statman Halftime Player Comparison. Mark, take it away. Well, I want to tell you, Finn Murray was a very efficient 9 for 14 for 106 yards and his 10th touchdown of the season, leading all Division I passes right now with 10 touchdowns. And his go-to guy was, once again, Vic Otero. 12 catches last week, five catches in the first half. Uh, and then uh, Stan Bernard only has one reception, but it was that beautiful uh, touchdown uh, as he was diving into the end zone. Uh, the, uh, the, the real news here is that we have no rushing game at all. We've had 26 total yards in the first quarter, in the first half, and that's something to be concerned about. Uh, Drake it on the other end, uh, they're a uh, very good quarterback, Lambert. Uh, gave away uh, a touchdown in the first quarter. Gave away probably another touchdown uh, later on in the first quarter. It's only four for nine, 43 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. And uh, the Drake had rushing game, they've got, a, they've got a total of 68 yards on the ground compared to 26 yards for AB. So uh, clearly, uh, we're the beneficiaries of some sloppy play in the first quarter by the Drake quarterback, and that's really been the difference to That's a, just a great point, Mark. You know, I, I really had summed it up in my mind that way, but really, the, it's really a one-score game if you just subtract out the uh, the gifts that uh, Drake has served up. And we, had, we still had to do some work to get in the end zone, but that's a, that's a great point. So, you know, we got some work to do. I think both coaches are going to be you know, are pretty animated in their own respective locker rooms at this very moment, talking to their teams. I think for AB, yeah, I think you want to say, I want this running game activated right yeah, now against gonna, this, this It's going to be very interesting because we're going to get the ball at the beginning of the first the third quarter, and I really want to see how they come out and how Coach Bassett uh, approaches that first series in the third quarter, which is always such an important series. Yeah, I it's going to be interesting. And AB bands on the field, and uh, stay tuned for highlights from the first half and second half kickoff action right after this mess. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all. So put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. All right, welcome back, everybody. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. What a first half. We start out with a big Vic Otero interception. Merry, takes it to the house. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Didn't see a single midi on that no, play. No, <laughs> no. And here we go again. We got Lambert looking and look at it. He just look at this lazy little pass. And Nick Patillo returns it, and it was just the easiest interception he'll ever have. All right, Finn looking left, looking right. Nice play to Barat. Breaks a nice tackle. And starts revving up the motors. A little stiff arm for a 20 yard rumble. And here we go, Finn Murray, look at that. He just pirouettes out of that tackle and goes into the end zone. All right, Lambert looking. And yeah. Slim Dog just breaks down so nicely and takes him down. There we go, Finn Murray, looking, 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 there's Stan Bernard, stretching and stretching, 
and hitting the hitting the ground, and that's six. All right, Lambert, good long toss, and Noah gets up about, I mean, rim high on a basketball court to knock that ball away. Okay, here we go. This was a defensive breakdown in the secondary. Nobody close to, the, to Santiago on that play, and that was the Middies' only touchdown. This is the, uh, we were in a three-man uh, deep formation, this particular kick return, Noah Sweeney. Return right, goes across the field, gets vertical, and watch, he passes one, two, three, four. It's Call like, it five, carry to two, like there he he's, goes. He's going at one speed, and everyone else is going at a different speed. It's incredible. All right, Finn Murray, looking, this is the kind of the Hail Mary pass at the end of the first half. Intercepted, and that was it, 21 to seven, as we go into the third quarter. It looks like that ball floated on him and just got above. It was really a, a shorter little post underneath there. And with that, that's a heck of a first half. As, you know, AB came into this game, certainly didn't play flat. But we got, uh, as we expected, an inspired mini team playing, you know, really their game of the year against a Absolutely. team that's ranked this, number eight. This is, this is their Bowl. Super Bowl, that, exactly. You know, yeah. So we got a game, folks. It's 21 to seven. It's really closer than that. And uh, we'll be right back to this message with the second half. Hey, America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. Welcome back, everybody, to Will Mark Shire and Will Henry here in Statman. And we got a second half here. AB against the Minis. The Minis are getting ready to kick off. We got the three man kickoff return formation. That worked pretty good last time. They kick a blooper in the middle. And covered by. Yeah, that was a modified onside kick. And Pablo Barrios Pablo. made yeah, a nice, nice job. job. Of just bringing that in and just falling down. And good field position for AB at the 38 yard line to start it. Not sure what the strategy was. There. I don't know whether it was kind of like a. You want to open up and give us good field position? Or, it, you know? it wasn't a pooch, it wasn't an onside kick. It, it was... All right, let's, let, let's see if they try to run it all here. 26 yards rushing in the first half. All right, in the divide formation. And Barat patiently getting out there and getting about four or five yards. And it's, that's, the, uh, that's the video game run. You know, you just kind of hit the toggle switch. Here's the replay. Go left three yards, go right. I'll tell you. Drakeen Drake is really all over it. I mean, their, their defensive line has really been stout this whole game. Number 70, a deal. He's a big dude. Him. He's a big dude, yeah. He is, he is a big dude. All right, divide again, and Barat. Gets really good pursuit. He meets uh, two or three. And as we talked about, you know, going through the replays there, Mark. Here's a uh, for yeah, the first look at, half. Look at that. We want to but once again, run. the pursuit is incredible there, and the speed to the edge has put us in about a third and three. Well, we don't run a lot of counter, but except the counter with the quarterback. But I'm going to say the counter is going to be wide open if we want to do it. Here we are with a read option. That might be just a ticket right now. Right in front of us, okay. Fick Otero with a nice little possession receiver catch. And, that, and that's what you do. Vic just went two yards beyond the 
the marker and just turned around and just sat there in that part of the zone and Finn hit him and it's a first and 10. All right, ball at midfield, just a, maybe on the 49 and the middies. Middies rushing four. Here's the, there's the counter, if you will, and well Nothing. met with a balanced midi run attack there. Boy, I tell you, when I get the run, it looks like they have about 14 defenders out there. Here's the replay. It was a, it was a well executed play, but well covered by Drakus. And I'd say, uh, you know, this play action hitting Bernard is going to be wide open. There's nobody in back, and you got everybody up. They got everybody up challenging this run. And Ethan Lowe with a nice catch for about three. Yeah, but that's going to bring up a you know a challenging third down conversion here. It'll be third down. Third and three. Third and three. Third and three on the forty-seven. Oh, the run for the first down run. Was that Broad or was or that Krenowitz? Krenowitz, I think. Pat yeah. Krenowitz, sorry. Yeah, Pat. Nice play. They finally got a hole open there. Yeah, they got, they got old number 70 out of the way. What a great fake. Do you see that, how yeah. Finn took off like he had the ball? I mean, that's a great fake. All right, first and 10 on the 38. What a great view we have right here. Right in front of us. Finn's got time, and the ball is complete. The Vico tear down the sideline. And uh, he dozy does like he likes to for a couple more. I just love the way, I love his footwork. He's got the best footwork of anybody on this team. Look at this. He brings it in, and he just turns it right up and gets about six yards after catch. Look how much room they're giving uh, Oh, meanwhile, Weichmann is not covered by anybody here. We're going to have to call a timeout they, here they, if we don't get our act they, together. They do not have a... I tell you, this looks like a touchdown to me here. There's something about this defensive alignment here that doesn't, it doesn't look good. Little slot, Vic Otero looking for the block. Oh. And... Almost gets loose there. Let's see where they mark that. A tough angle. Yeah, I was surprised he went to Otero because there, there is some wide open territory on the on the right hand side there. But good yardage. And once again, Vic always makes the most out of everything after the catch. Second and about three and a half. All right, empty backfield. Finn, he's under pressure. And he's got Bernard wide open. Oh, oh just over the fingertips. Oh, left side Stan Bernard lead. almost jumped the chain Third link down. fence at the end there. Oh, you can see Stan just clapping his hands saying, oh, I could have had that. Just a little bit more air on oh, that look football. At that. It, was a, it was a tough catch on the run. Finn putting it up. And stretching out, and now it's third and three. Two down territory here. I think uh, you got Barat in the backfield here. And uh, boy, the interior run defense, Barat's in the slot. Empty backfield again. All right, Finn with the, oh, oh he just tripped up. He, that was a good, Call a little quarterback draw off the aggressive. That was that was going, and now we're dealing with a fourth down here. Look at that! He had a first down and just tripped. And here we go with a possession play here. Fourth down. I think you might call that play again. 
All right. Sits down for a first down. That's what you Goes do. You Ethan Lowe. You got it. You sit down for a first down. That's what you do. Very patient. Very patient. Good protection. Ethan Lowe doing his job. Just getting past the marker. Middle field. Here's Jonas Wickman turns up and he gets hit oh, right at so the goal close. line, maybe the one. Oh, so close. I thought he was going to get in on that. And look at him just slanting over the middle. Take a look at this. Look at that slant. And I thought he was in. Nice downfield block by Barat there. All right, that, AB has used more than half of the third quarter. We're down to five minutes to go here. Look at Barat with the cut for touchdown AB. And AB responds. All right. 4.58. We used six minutes on that drive. Double team there. Very oh, what nice. a great play. Very nice offensive. Tap, blocking there, 27 to seven. Six minutes and two seconds on that drive. Kick is up and it is good with 4.58 to go in the third quarter. It's the Colonials 28 in the midi seven. All right, stat, you gotta show that, stat, that, that, that stat, last play. That man has an interesting stat here. All right, I just wanna show that play. Here's Brock, watch him plant the foot. Left foot and then cut oh, up yeah. and then the double team there to squash the boom and then touchdown. Uh, Finn Murray, six for seven on that drive for 49 yards. Along with 12 yards rushing to all of the offense combined. Ah, uh, yeah, the offense went from 26 to 38 yards rushing. They just they can't run the ball tonight, but they're up by three touchdowns. But give the Middies defense credit, though, for, for the Middies to take away the A-B run both. Yeah, it's Finn just amazing. Murray and our running backs. It really is incredible. When they're playing a divi you know, Division I team versus Division IV, I give them credit for that. All right, low kick bouncing over the middle, and it's going to dribble and picked up late. And Whoa, whoa hello, hello. Wow, Nick Purcell. Wow. Whoa, he just stuck him. Here's the replay. Nick, sudden stop, Pachillo. Watch this. <laughs> that ball just rolling around there, tantalizing. And, and here comes oh. 24, and that's the Boom. end of that. You can't ask for a better tackle than that. Head low, clean hit. Very textbook tackle on that. All right, we got Sweeney Island over here, a rotating Finn to the other side of the field. Run the arch, read option, they're running up the middle, and they got some room. Oh, tough play, I tell you. French goes he for about a, 11 for a first down. Yeah, he's a punishing runner. You just don't want to get him in any kind of momentum there. Look at look at him punish the defender here right at the end of the play. First down. Very physical team. They run the play the other way. Uh, it looked like uh, offensive interference yeah, there. Yeah, it sure did. Sure did. Sweeney, Sweeney all over that. And, uh, you know, Jacob Rivers kind of quietly got back into his formation. If you watch this play, you see Jacob Rivers with his hands on Sweeney. You just see the ball's in the air and he's already in blocking formation. That's offensive. You just, you just don't know. That, 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 was, that was basically a busted play there. That a missed assignment. I think I think Rivers thought it was a running play.
All right, Lambert is under in trouble, scrambles and gets down for about no gain. God, he's not too happy about it. Fleming on there. And look at that. Fake handoff. He's looking. He can't find anybody. He gets out of one tackle. And there is Durstein just missing him. And Pachillo's in for the tackle. Third and long. All right, little bubble screen and a couple of yards to bring up fourth down. All right, this should, should be a punt here with 322 to go in the third in the third quarter. You know, if you're ever gonna see a, a fake punt, it would be in, probably in this situation. Always gotta watch for that. And over and kick. Fair catch. Good, Hit good punt. Tarot. Very good punt. All right, we went for six, six minutes last time, and it's amazing that we had a six-minute drive and, and we couldn't get our running game together. I mean, that, that really says a lot about uh, Finn Murray and how he can spread the ball around. And that little move, that little sit-down pass right after the first, you know, first down marker, uh, we got that about three times last drive. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, it, it, it shows you the, the balance of A-B in that, you know, you take away that run completely and say, no problem, we'll go into a possession passing game, which is what they did all the way down the field. All right, now we're back to the read option formation there. Finn Murray looks and... Oh, wow, we got A-B players on the ground. And there was, a, looked like a flood. It looked like a missed assignment there. Yeah, and I, I think you don't feel yeah. that way. No, no, you, you're not going to have two receivers that close to one another. Which is kind of rare for A-B to be in that situation, a passing game like that. Otero, and it's complete for a downfield long slant there for a first down about a 30-yard gain. Okay, I, I mean that, that was a great play, but I want to I want to show you the block that Krenowat got on 62, right. there. <laughs> and that allowed that long completion because it was bearing down on Finn Murray. Watch this, here's the block. Take a look at this block here. Well done. It gave uh, Finn just a clear view of where he wanted to put that ball. Blitz, and a good quick out to Vic Otero, and look oh. at that, oh, the do -si do I just, <laughs> I just love that. You love that do -si do don't you? Not much of a gain on the play, just a gain of about a yard or two. It was worth it. <laughs> but like you say, it's just this pass, passing, Six. ball Possession control pass, yeah. offense here. And when you least expect it, you know, Finn may bust one up the middle for 20 yards. The middle's wide open. All right, Barat's got a little bit of room. He's going to cut up the middle, and he just trips. He's, I guess, you know, this is a natural grass field, and I think our footing here is just not what we yeah, want it to we be. Got, we got a flag on the play here, too. Let's check that flag. All right, offense, 10-yard holding penalty.
And that's going to bring it back all the way to the 39-yard uh, line here. Second and about 14. And that'll back him up. Here's the replay. And they'll replay second down. Barack gets out. Didn't, didn't see the hole. There's a lot of activity there. Might have had a little bit more room on a more of an outside cut on, you know, not to the sideline, but just about a five yard outside cut, but he's a north south guy. <laughs> you know? And he, all right, second and uh, 13. All right, Finn with a little swing pass to Barat. Oh, oh a great about tackle. Beat. Great tackle by number 37. And we uh, don't have, we don't 32. even, 32, 32, I'm sorry. That is Javi Afaria with a first down saving tackle. And third and 10 for the Colonials right now as time is running out here in the third quarter. This could very well be the last play of the third quarter. That was the fastest third quarter. All right, blitz again, and nope, there you go. Victor Taylor's got a shot at the end zone. High steps, and it gets loose and out of bounds for a first down. And you know that got him that first down. That high step got him that first down, and that's the end of the third quarter. But let's just take another look at this. Victor Taro, every time he shows you something new, look at this. He doesn't have the first down, and he just gets out of that tackle, and it's first and 10 for A.B., at the end of the third quarter, and guess what time it is? It's time to thank our sponsors, Acton Pharmacy, Dunkin' Donuts, Galan Insurance, Huntington Learning Center, Medical Aesthetics, National Aviation Academy, Jire Kate and Epstein, Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, and TC Landos. Thank you to our sponsors for making all that's possible. Thank you, sponsors. We appreciate it. It's really uh, amazing to see all this great equipment, our replay monitor, and uh, you, know, you really make this uh, this show happen. We thank you so much. Now, is it, now, the point of that, have they formally made it just Dunkin' now, or is it Dunkin' Donuts? Oh, they all oh, they're. I think it's just Duncan now. And the uh, that last play, that that high footwork, just amazing by Vic Otero. All right, first down. And uh, oh, just absolutely precision, and now they're. They're being able, they're Jonas finding Wick Jonas. The they're finding Jonas in the middle of the field and they're they're moving him across the field. It'll be first down in look, at, look at Jonas, it's just tough to bring down. Follows on the 12 yard line. Barat cuts up the middle oh, and gets doing. the they linebackers. Just can't do it. I'll tell you, they're so active. Enough goes up the middle. Stop that for a short game. And shed the blocks here, and uh, those linebackers are really, uh, I'd say, some of the best run. Stop the run linebackers we've seen all season. Uh, those, uh, I mean, they 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 they've given up three defensive touchdowns in three games. So they I mean they've got a pretty pretty stout defense. All right, second and uh, ten. Finn looking left, looking right. Under pressure. He's got he's got to break up the middle and then cuts around the end for about looks like first down and be close to first and goal where they mark that ball. Well, the ball was at the 12, and I think he's probably got about 
He's still two, out of bounds. Two, three out. Yeah, yeah. He used, he used a little bit of discretion there. Discretion being the better part of valor <laughs> on that play. Wow. All right. Is that third down? I can't, can't oh, see the mark. That's, that's, third and five. I don't get yeah. that placement. It looked like he, he must have. It's really hard to see from this angle. All right. Third and five. On the eight. All right, Finn looking over the middle. Oh, look at that! Ethan Lowe with a touchdown catch! Look at that! As he scrapes across the back of the end zone! Well, I'll tell you, that looked like an NFL play. That looked like a professional play. I mean, you're talking about the quarterback and the receiver. Look at Finn Murray. He's got plenty of time, but now he's scrambling. And Ethan Lowe picks it up. And he, and he cuts his rug, and look at that, and look at that perfect pass right to the corner of the end zone, and that puts it to 34 to seven. Wow. E Ethan Lowe, what a football player. Kick us up, and it Whoa, is it is good. good. By just half, it is. Really good. That just scraped, that just scraped it there. Wow. And we can see that replay again, like you said. Uh, just a great play, great athletic play by Finbury. Stay alive, scrambles left and right. Sees Ethan Logue scraping across the back of the end zone and a perfect strike. And you know what? And he also had Stan Bernard because Stan was being held up by his guy, finally got free. So he had the choice of either Ethan Logue or Stan Bernard in that play. And that pass had to be perfect, and it was. All right, with 9.23 to go in the fourth quarter, it's the Colonials, 35 and a mini seven. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a turned in missing cell phone. If you're missing your cell phone, please see one of the Turinka police officers at the main gate. If you're missing your cell phone, check with the Turinka police officers at the main gate. Okay, and kicks over away. And kick to about the 15. And a good run back. Goes number 17, John Carlos Santiago. Okay, and you get that, uh, that sophomore, Sean Kelly, at five foot eight, making a stop. And Sean Kelly is in there. Well, they only average, they only got 11, 14 yards in their last series. So this is going to be Oh. Eight yard completion to uh, number. Yeah, Sweet, Sweeney on the stop. That that was a long pass across across the field. Matt, Matt Cox is coming in and putting good pressure every play. We don't have uh, 44 in our roster. That's a good throw. Second and two. Like an option play that was broken down oh, and a yeah, scramble yeah. for yeah. maybe uh, close to a first down. I think he got. I think he got the first down. Yeah, first and ten for the midi. That's okay. Let it. Let him run. Let the clock go. Let's just get out of here with no with no injuries. AB with essentially all their start is still in on defense here. A little large play and throw over the middle is short, intended for emphasis 
slow pass. Yeah, once again, once again, Matt Cox was coming in on Lambert, and I think uh, might have distracted Lambert, make him make that bad throw. Quite a few substitutions for AB in the front line, linebacker set. Yeah, now they're, now they're coming in. Got Nate Sullivan at safety, yeah. Barat, Noah, and then uh, on the front lines you have Andrew Shen. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been in. Okay. All right. Finally, Matt Cox. Uh, Matt I'm sorry. Cox was, Matt Cox was he, was he was knocking on the door, knocking on the door, and he finally got himself in. And a great, great sack by Cox. They had a heck of a game. Wow. Third oh, Cox Number is eight. going over to the. Uh, Right edge here, going the other way. Let's see if he can get him the other way, coming Jake, off the edge. Jake Durkin playing outside linebacker. Throw over the middle, and uh, Pat Crono on the coverage, intended for uh, Santiago. Yeah, I don't know if Lambert has just been, been hurried, or you know, it just it doesn't look like the quarterback that, uh, uh, that he's been in the first three games here. Against Chelmsford in the first half, he threw up for over 200 yards. Well, we're missing that, you know. Yeah, missing his best receiver. Good high kick, and Otero Fair catches at uh, his own 40. Would you want to? Would you ever want to be a punt returner? No. I mean, I just, I just look at that and I said. You know, just one little bobble, and the world just implodes on you. I guarantee you I would call for a fair catch every time. <laughs> I, 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 I'd run away from it. I wouldn't even bother with a fair catch. What a scary job. All right, next week it's Waltham. You're not going to be here. You've got a baby shower. Yeah, and I have so a, I'm gonna I'm gonna step into your spot, and Statman is gonna step into mine against Waltham at Waltham, and that's a Saturday afternoon game. Wow, well have fun next week. I, that'll be fun against Waltham, and thank you for uh, you know covering for me. Will coming in again for his, one of his All Star games, and Pat Cronowick over the right side on a power run for about five. All right, let's see if we can soften them up a little bit and get a couple of first downs in the rushing game and just move that clock. We're down to six and a half minutes. No need to, uh, to rush here. Just take all the time that the clock gives you. We have another undefeated team for AB, the girls' volleyball team, 9-0. and Wow. And they're, they're ranked in the top 10. All right, play action. And it's complete to Nick Priscillo as he stays alive and breaks. Whoa, look at that. Two big time tackles and says he's not ready to take the foot off the gas in this game. That, that reminded me of Bronco Nagurski. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. First guy, second guy, third guy. And they need another one. Great, great pickup by 
Marcillo. And I love the way he looked the ball in his hands and then confidently turned forward. <laughs> Time to break some tackles. One on one on the outside. This time we go up the middle. All right, not a bad, not a bad call. Four yards, I think. The way things have been going, that's a that's a pretty good gain on first down. Let's go! All right, second and six. Cronowick coming out. Alex Barat in and. Uh, you know, Tim, the thing about Cronowet is that he is just so valuable as a blocker, just protecting Finn Murray and giving Finn more time. And that's one thing that's, that's often overlooked. You know, it's, you're right. And we saw a lot of these, these kids uh, run the ball very effectively last year. And so there's a lot of talent there. We just uh, have some very specific roles. Oh, wow. Alex Whoa. with a big time broken tackle. At one point, his legs are about 30 or 40 degrees at an angle off the ground. He maintains his balance. And here's look the at, replay. Look at this. Watch this. I mean, this is a gallop. He's galloping. Look at that. Watch Whoa, oh, look at there that. There you go. Oh, my. Right. And, and like you say, north, south. <laughs> I mean, we're not talking about angles. We're just talking about A to B. Colonials in a pistol. A little cross pop, which should work. And Barat. Ah, oh, they got three guys on them. He just wants to burn the clock. <laughs> well, we're down all the way down to three minutes and 15 seconds. We're going to just kind of run it out here. What a win. What a win. Playing two undefeated teams back to back. Scoring 37 points last week, scoring 35 points this week. Well, the Boston Globe picked AB to win this game. Well, they're getting fairer. <laughs> yeah, finally, after all these years. Yeah. All right, Chrono with the little counter play and Good run, we've mentioned before, against this very aggressive linebacker set for the middies that that, if we had, if we would have had to stay with the run, we would have had to there build go. some look at this, look at that, he just gets upended here. And third down, and the clock keeps ticking. Third and about, uh, looks like a long two, maybe, maybe three yards. It's cold, it's, I think we're close to, uh, you know, I 50, think we're 51, probably, yeah, high, maybe the high 40s. I feel the high 40s here. Yeah, yeah. The hands are getting getting a little uh, tight here. Right up the middle, and look at nice that! Cut inside and, traffic. And then we got that push for a first down, and it's going to be first and goal. And now the question is, do you go in or do you take a knee? Watch Cronowit here. He's in traffic, and all of a sudden, okay, time to take a right turn. There you go. Take a right, blinker on, and he gets another two or three. And I'll tell you, that, that was that was Cronowit. That was all Cronowit right there. I just, you're you're under a minute. Are you going to go in for another score? Or are you going to just let it go? I think. Uh, I, th I think I think they're going to take a knee. I, I think that's uh, typically how AB plays, and I, I like that. Yeah. And they do. Yeah. That's the classy okay. way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. No reason to to uh, to to run it up. Very, very impressive win. Now we're going to have to run one more play here. Student body here coming in, traveling, and they're uh, 
I just hope these stands hold up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Stan Bernard is, uh, is just kind of grooving to the music here. Yeah, that's great. And that is it, folks, as the clock counts down. 35-7 AB over Drake it. And uh, you know, this is a big time win because you, you play a team where you have to respect them. It turns out they have the best set of linebackers we may have faced all season in this team. And uh, a team that really hits really aggressive. And AB pulled it together, played their game, and uh, did what they needed to do. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, and, and, beating, and beating this team, beating LS and beating Drake it, and with Waltham and Cambridge coming up as the two games before the playoffs, it's very, very possible that AB is going to run the table. And if they do, they're going to get a two or three seed in Division One North, which is just unbelievable. And they could be. You know, they could be facing a team like Everett in the third game of the playoffs. You never know. Yeah, and I had to, you know, talk to Vic Otero's dad before the game, and we won't get into it too much now at this stage of uh, the broadcast. But let's just say that our kids here, this very team in Pop Warner days, played Everett quite a few times during their storied history. And, uh, you know, Everett beat them on, on those contests for the, I think, every, every time around, as I understand it. And I think I'm right about that. But these kids get a chance now as they've gotten older and, and developed their game and, and pulled together other kids that, that maybe didn't work. You know, they weren't on that Pop Warner team. They may have another shot at Everett sometime. I want to tell Wouldn't you, one, cool? I mean, that would be the greatest thing because I remember in 2004, if you looked at the top 20, Everett was number one and AB was number two. And it would be just incredible uh, to go into the playoffs and have that kind of seed. We want to thank our, our staff, everybody. We're going to just go through all the names. Corinne Joseph, Brittany Ford. Uh, I don't, is Brittany here today? I, I have, she's down in the... She, yeah, okay. It is and the replay. Brian, I've been talking to Brittany all night. Dick. Brian Coulihan, Pat Snow, and Will Henry, of course, Statman, uh, John Murphy, and uh, who else we got? We got Rick, Rick Degon, our director. I want to thank all the staff, everybody that puts this together. And this is just a great win tonight, Jim. Yeah, that's it. So that's going to do it for today's game. But don't go away just yet. We'll be right back after the game, after uh, with second half highlights here. We had a heck of a second half. So hold on, just folks, after this message. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we will be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. 
Welcome back, everybody. We're going to look at the second half highlights. And by the way, this is the Fox Channel 25 game of the week as well. And here we go. All right. Finn Murray with the pass to Jonas Wickman over the middle. Almost got in on that. Drag wrap. Beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Very right, right through. Just, just got over the goal line for the touchdown. All right, there's play action here. Or actually, a handoff to the big rumbling number 45. Okay, Lambert. And he gets, look at this, no chance, no chance. Four or five defenders, and finally Nick Fagillo gets him down. All right, Fenway drops back and launches the missile to Vic Otero, and uh, Another 20 yard gain, Vic. Another big game. There we go, Finn Murray once again. And to Otero once again. And look at this high step. Look at that. That got him that first down. Very important first down. All right, Finn looking, looking. Watch him scramble left, scramble right. And then turns his shoulders and throws a strike back to the end zone first, to Ethan Lowe. That's the play of the game. Play of the game. Lambert looking at, and here's my man, Matt Cox. Ever, you know, ever, ever since he went from 82 to 50, he's, been, he's just been a monster there. Ben Murray to Nick Chilo, who breaks about six tackles yeah, if you get your calculator out. And that's gonna do it. And there's the, uh, you know, it's just, I, I wanna say to the AB uh, line, but, you know, there's some great double team blocks against a very formidable uh, defense and, and maybe, you know, underrated them. We just didn't bring them up at least in our forecast in the same manner. We give credit to the middies. I think this is the most active linebacker crew we've seen all year. And uh, you throw a lot of great double team blocks. I want to give credit to the uh, AB line for really attacking them and keeping, keeping the rhythm of this game so we can just pull out this big time victory. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's really incredible that uh, we can win any number of ways. And, and, and that's, that's really the sign of a great team and how versatile we are. Well, that's going to do it tonight. It's a cool night. It's a big time victory, 35 to 7. I won't be here next week, so have a great uh, time against Waltham. I wish AB and the Colonials and all everybody well there. And I'll see you the week after. And thanks for watching this presentation of Acton TV Sports. We'll see you next week, everybody.